Uh, I know I'm not a regular patient, but I think I have some trouble with my prostate. So, can you help me out, Dr. McCoy? What? So you can sue me, too? Oh, come on. It'll only take a sec. Forget it. I'm a doctor, not a patsy. Hello? Quagmire and Cleveland are great with kids. Hello. Like Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Huh. Everybody's lying around in here. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What am I, in Congress? Ha huh. See? Laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir. I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Huh, what's this? Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. Ho ho. Like the episode of All in the Family That's where horrible. Archie got the Jeffersons to move. Time oh for you to move God. there, uh, Jefferson. Oh, Archie, I can't see out of my sheet. Eat it while you stifle yourself. We're supposed to be incognitus. And who could forget that classic episode of the Waltons? Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Pa. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Pa. Good night, Ma. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Good John, night boy. John Boy. John Boy. Damn it! Can't a guy masturbate in this house? We're the best pals since the Snorks. Oh, I'm having a really great time. Me too. I really value our friendship. You're not like those other Snorks who only want one thing. Oh. That was clumsy. <laughs> Hang on a second. You go together. Jesus. But like the couple from the movie Grease. Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong, do you take Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom to be your wife? I do. And Miss Shubop Shawada Wada Yippity Boom De Boom, do you take Mr. Rama Lama Lama Kadinga Da Dinga Dong to be your husband? I do. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. <gasps> Mr. Chang Chang Changity Chang Shabop! We now return to the E True Hollywood story. Alf. By, by, by the third season, I was completely wasted all the time. I. I, I lost all control of my bodily functions. They had to cut the crap out of my fur before each taping. But, uh, would I do it all again? <laughs> we need to do the right thing. Oh, man. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to break, bro. That shit was really funny. Like the dad from Small Wonder. All right, Vicky, time to shut you down for the night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, God, what are you going to do? Nah. We need a new fourth guy for our group. Good. We're a man short, like Statler without Waldorf. <laughs> you know, without the other guy yapping in my ear, these guys aren't half bad. Besides, it sure beats the hell out of last Saturday when we partied with that big horn guy from Legend. Hey, you guys want to go to IHOP, get some breakfast or something? Let's oh, go. God, I don't know, big horn guy. It's like 3 a.m. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm wide awake. Hey, Quagmire, you want... <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. You <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm only three minutes in. Three minutes. Okay. No! I didn't see him. We now return to House Hunters Westeros. I love it. Sold. Be warned, Khaleesi. The fourth bedroom has no point of egress, and the HOA is known to be unmerciful. Shame! 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 Trash cans must be off the curb by 10 a.m. and pick up after your dragons! And there's a Twinkie factory in Natick. Twinkies? Yeah, I saw a story about him on A&E. And now back to A&E's biography, Twinkie the Kid. It, it was uh, it was difficult for Twink to play with other children. He 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 was different. Mm. He was definitely he he had no bones and he was alive. He couldn't really play any sports. Yeah, and that's you know why we got him the lasso. Yeah, uh, he'd spend hours in the backyard playing Wonder Woman. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. He he loved that lasso. Mm. He he not as much as the baton, but uh, we 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 put a, a stop to the baton. He he was. He was different enough, you know? Oh, what a feeling. Oh, this is even better than that Random. time I met Timer, the cheese guy. A hanker for a hunk of a slammer slice of junker. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. When you get up and go, has got up and went. Help 
Howdy, partner. Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel. What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack. Well, we better get there soon. I want to be there for opening night of Karate Kid 5. <sighs> Mr. Miyagi, this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm having a problem with erectile dysfunction. Hey, Daniel, son. Miyagi fix. Like when I worked in that lab with Dr. Bunch and... Yeah, how's Hanky. he gonna fix that? Me, 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 <laughs> Agreed, Peter. Well, this day has taken a bad turn. Like Mike Brady's first marriage. Here's your beer, honey. Oh, yeah. Huh. I don't remember asking for a warm beer. Well, I didn't want to quit working. You made me. You don't talk to me that way! Jesus. Alice, what did you see? Enough to know I'm getting a raise. I am not. Dark. I'll tell you who's a fraud. Mr. Spark. Mr. Solo, set a course for one moment, Captain. They're about to announce the winning numbers for the intergalactic lottery. Today's winning numbers are 18, 24, 41, and 72. Ah, yes! You're damn right! Hell yeah! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can all suck it! Live long and suck it! Met the player who would become my arch rival, Sweden's. Pretty head normal dancer. reaction. He bring his personal chef to every match, which was very distracting. Ah! What the hell? Burgy, burgy, meatball, brewy. Ah! Come on, this can't be legal. What are you blind? Serve ball. Now that's and a tennis match to I'd watch. Of life. Hey, Mrs. Garrett, can I ask you something? What is it, Joe? Is it a problem if your penis and your vagina touch each other? What? Well, I try to keep them separated, but uh, I woke up this morning and they were sort of together. I, I just didn't know. Is that okay? You have both? Well, yeah. Doesn't everybody? No! Well, maybe you're not as good a father as me, eh? I mean, look what I did with Chris. I'm even better than that dad on Lost in Space. We need to gather more information about this new planet. Don, you take my 16-year-old blonde daughter out in the chariot for the rest of the day. Penny, you stay here with me. And Will, you and the robot go out into the uncharted wilderness and take this mincing boy-hungry pedophile with you. Oh, but you meet such colorful that characters in That sounds like a great like, idea. Like Alex Rieger and Tony and that funny foreign guy who worked in a garage. Rieger, Camp 402! Nardo, you and your luscious melons are in 315! Now get the hell out of here, you losers! Hey, Louie, what about the foreign guy? No way, Banta, he's a nut job. Come on, Louie. Louie, show a little compassion for once in your miserable life. All right, can of waterworks. Jackie Chan, Camp 302. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sounds nothing like it. We now return to Top Chef, Looney Tunes edition. Okay, Chef Fudd, I was a little disappointed in you this week. Your dish was just a live rabbit who thought he was taking a bath. But I used carrots and celery. Yes, I saw he was scrubbing his back with a long celery stalk. Chef Sylvester, on the other hand, I'm happy to say your supper and succotash was absolutely delicious. Thanks. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, Pretty what's useless. your superpower? I've seen this Kicking. before. Oh, right, because none of us can kick. Hey, which one of you guys can kick? Hulk, stop being nice. Sorry. You know who was my hero? Aquaman. And his secret alter ego, Arthur Curry. Wow, you saved our lives, Aquaman. Just doing my job. Arthur Curry! Did you see Aquaman? He was just here! Oh, darn. I must have missed him. We forgot to tell him thanks. Oh, I have a feeling he already knows. Can't be that oblivious, Fine, man. go ahead. It's not gonna be the same. Like Cheers wasn't the same when they brought in Kirstie Alley. Norm! No, I'm I'm Rebecca. Oh no, that movie's long gone, like the original ending to Greece. We now return to Sesame Street. Now on HBO. Cookie Monster said he's tired of eating cookies. rolling blackouts to help meet Superstore USA's extensive power demands. Oh, in fact, Channel 5 has just received this message from the electric company. Hey, you guys! Who says that? Somebody says that.
This definitely feels like an Contrary 80s jingle. Contrary to those jingle. upbeat lyrics, the electric company would like us to emphasize it will not be bringing you the power. He's right, Peter. You've disturbed the natural order of things. People need to be able to die. No! Oh, you know, I, actually, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Oh, Jack, now we can get married and everything you promised. Yeah, about that. Uh, I was pretty sure I was going to die. Uh... Because, actually, there's this girl in New York, and it's it's getting kind of serious. But, you know, thanks for letting me draw you naked. I still can't believe you let me do that. Come on, Lois. It's the one thing I look Such forward to Such a better ending. Work. It's the one thing I'm good at. I am to birthdays what J.K. Rowling is to now problematic wizard stories. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things... Uh, Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. It's like a cross-dressing Cobra Commander. Who? Cobra Commander. He's the head of Cobra, the bad guys from G.I. Joe. The guys who oddly shout the name of their terrorist organization as they're attacking. Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Cobra! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. That's everything. He's not you wrong. Know, you really should talk to a therapist about this. I mean, it really helped Peter out when he became obsessed with that fantasy world of his. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know what's coming. Yeah! You're a little too heavy, buddy. Yeah! We're going down. Yeah! We're actually working for the federal government, and we need Classic your help. One. Do you want to be spies like us? Can we be spies like them? We've actually resolved our differences. Yeah, they were trying Can't to kill each other at one it. point. Jeez, I hope I don't end up stuck in here like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, uh, Rabbit, perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your fist? Don't worry about it. Man, look at them. They make such a cute couple, like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, yeah. Remember this one? No, no, no. He knows I'm his friend. Yeah, right. That's what Woody thought about Buzz Lightyear. <gasps> Bo Peep! What, what's going on here? I'm airing it all out. Um, you've got a friend in me? All oh, right, hell. fine. But I gotta say, being Justin was quite an adventure. Like when I found where the wild things were. I owe you, Max. You led me right to them. All right, now help me grind their horns into boner pills. We now return to VH1's Behind oh, the Music, damn. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. It must have been around 1979 when animals started snorting crushed up pieces of felt. Got pretty ugly. Me had big problem before me found God. He, like, threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with him. But what? I guess love does funny things to people. Look at Forrest Gump. Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm gonna go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. She was the worst character. I know you came all New York to visit me, but I'm gonna go do the blow and have character. sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, mm. Jenny. And I'll mow the grass and raise the AIDS, baby. Peter, the map is a joke. You're being played for a fool, like George McFly. Hey, Lorraine, whatever happened to that guy Marty from high school? Don't know. Never saw him after the prom. Really? Sure you didn't run into him, Mo, say, about 16 years ago? George, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that our son, who you insisted we name after that guy Marty, looks exactly like him. You think I'm an idiot? That I wouldn't notice that our son is a dead ringer for the guy who fixed us up? Mom, Dad, I accidentally set fire to the living room rug. I am not going easy on him. Oh, God. And now back to the life and times of Grizzly Adam. Was that back in the future? Um, Grizzly? Who's Steve? What? Oh, there's a message on the machine from somebody named Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Um, he's uh, new to the mountain. I met him down at the general store. He makes canoes. Oh. How come I've never met him? 
Mm, he hasn't really been here that long. Long enough to get your number! Ben! Ben! Damn it. I was the human resources director for the Muppets. It's, it's the fact that he's married to an actual bear and they're having marital problems. That is so silly. Mr. Beaker, it is my unfortunate task to inform you that your services will no longer be required by this company. Well, if you must know, it's because we've noticed large quantities of benzene, ephedrine, and everyday Epsom salt have gone missing. Oh, please, we both know those are the ingredients used to make crystal meth. And I've got a pretty good idea who you've been selling it to as well. Oh, hey, uh, Beaker, when you're done talking to your friend, I want to, uh, I want to talk to you about that thing. Big Bird. Come on, man. We now return to the Smurfs. Hey, you have, you have a good time last night? Smurf-tacular. Yeah, I saw you leave with Smurfette. Oh, man, as soon as we got out of the bar, she started smurfing me. Shut the Smurf up. Yeah, right in the Smurfin' parking lot? Smurf, yeah. Oh, that is freaking Smurf. You smurf it. That is freaking Smurf. Yeah. Well, not all kids make it, Lois. Just ask the Sugar Smacks, Frog. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've lost two more. What should we do about the grave? I used to love this series. Dig em. Oh, things are gonna be different. No more will I treat you like some kind of alien. Three minutes to minimize Oh, right, right, distance. right. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from you, other planets. You crazy. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. This guy may look harmless on the outside, but on the inside, he could be a complete bastard, like Fred Flintstone. So, why exactly do you want this separation? Well, Mr. Stoneberg, in a nutshell, the cat put me outside. I was banging on the door for like 20 minutes shouting, Wilma! I didn't hear you. Oh, there's no way you didn't hear me. I was in the shower. Oh, she was in the shower. The elephant's you trunk was on right full on blast. I couldn't hear you. And besides, you're always oh, yelling about something. How the hell am I supposed to know when I pay attention? But when I want to get my rugs off, you know where to be found, you passive aggressive. Bitch. My Babs, childhood. you want to sit and watch? No. I'll have you know that I can bench press over 690 billion nanograms. Sheldon, that's less than two pounds. It sounded better the way I said it. <laughs> oh, oh, when I tell that joke at work tomorrow, people, pe people, people are going to be sorry they didn't come. You know, I was quite a troublemaker myself when I was a kid. Look, you, your parents will be home any minute. Are you sure you don't want me to clean up this mess? No, no, no. Go. Go. It'll be funny. Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I No, that, that, that was good. I, I just, I, I didn't think you were going to go so cartoony with it. Well, how, how, how would you read it? Oh, I, I don't know. I was thinking of doing it, you know, good, like, like an actor. But, you Dang. know, your, your way is good, too. Damn. I hope so, because if That's I blow this, I have to blow. go back to my old job at the electric company. Duh. Oh, oh no. Buh. It. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Hit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Huh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. So I see here you worked for a family for a number of years. Can I call the uh, Herculoids for a reference? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> the position has been filled. I forgot. The position has been. F what show is this dude from? I forgot. Uh, is it He Man, Masters of the Universe, or is it something else? I, I can't remember it. Filled. Thank you very much. You can go now. <laughs> Leave now! I, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to choose a babysitter. It's the worst job I've had since I was the conductor for the Sand People Choir. And a one, and a two. Good luck with that. No, 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 no. The altos were early. Now, this is the worst glee club I've ever. Oh, oh come on. Where are you going? The benefits tomorrow! Relax. The sand people frighten easily, but they'll be back. And in greater numbers. Well, that'll give us a richer harmony. Oh, yeah, no, it's gonna sound fantastic. Like the way Commissioner Gordon tells Batman that he just took a poop. Ugh, I don't need to know about that. This story breaks, it's gonna be big. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mixture of, like, the Star Wars joke and the Batman joke in conjunction. That was both funny. Horton heard the who. 
That's not singing, it's just screaming. We now <laughs> return to Magnum BM. Magnum, I found a fingerprint smudge at the crime scene. Do you have poo on your hands? A little. Gross. It was a lot of good clips in here, man. The Batman one, the Star Wars one. Um, I don't know what movie it was, but the one where they were reading off their ridiculous names and the guy stood up, that one was hilarious. <laughs> uh, like always, make sure you post where you lost it. Um, make sure you like the video, please. It really helps the channel. And make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with some more reactions. Peace!